I uh, have been hearing on some of the prepper channels about stores that are stocking up because they expect extreme shortages. And here's something I've never seen before. Oh, hold on, I don't wanna film somebody that may not wanna. Okay, I'm at Brookshire's. Here's a container, a container, and a trailer dropped right there. I've never seen this before. I don't know if there's a connection, but uh, you know, it's a coincidence that people are talking about stores like this, Walmart and everybody stocking to the rafters with uh, non-perishable stuff that doesn't have, you know, uh, short-term best buy dates. See, there's two containers and a trailer right there. I don't know what this means. Damn it. All right, let me go get my chainsaws. Get ready to go to work. Boy, this is a big, big old tree here. That's a 22 inch bar. So, uh, <laughs> that's a big old tree right there. You can't get under it. So let's do a safety check before we get to cutting. Uh, safety chainsaw steel toed boots, check. Uh, safety pants, chainsaw pants, it's a go. Safety chainsaw hard hat, yep. Safety chainsaw face shield, face shield, face shield, it's a go. All right, let's get it go. Oh yeah, plenty of white bandages in case I cut anything off. Check. Oh my. I am glistening already. I gotta roll some of these away so I can get my gator through here and uh, throw these in my trailer and then get the trailer up here to the fire and that will require all-wheel drive all right let me get to moving these and uh, I'll throw them in that trailer and then I will go in my shop and get me a cold water out of the ice box coming come on hold on going uphill a little bit and drink some water get back to cutting but no it doesn't look like it but I have nine pieces cut out of there and uh, probably got the same amount to cut from here to here 
and on this side of the fence I'm gonna probably cut two and just throw them back out in the woods there's a, a little creek just 20 feet out here there's a creek and uh, I'm probably gonna throw them out that way and uh, I think I can pick that up and put it in my trailer so I was thinking I probably wouldn't be able to get this done today but I'm gonna sit here in the shade what Always something, yeah. I'm, just, I'm gonna sit here in the shade and uh, take a little longer of a break. I just unloaded some and and then I may have to put a new chain because uh, this stuff has got dirt mixed in it, you know? And it's dull on my chain, so I think I can put a new chain on and finish that. This is what hot exhaust will do to dry wood. Okay. You're gonna do it, aren't you? I am. Okay, that is my exhaust for my chainsaw started that. Okay, go ahead. Isn't that amazing how dry wood will ignite from chainsaw exhaust? Tell them why I'm doing it. Yeah, today's not a burn day and the city already doesn't like us. So uh, if we have even an accidental fire on a non-burn day, believe me, they'll be down here We've had a murder, two home break-ins, a car break-in, but uh, we have a fire on a non-burn day and they'll be right on top of it. I hate this town. All right, I got one more to cut and put on the trailer. And then I gotta get my angle grinder and cut this off and uh, probably Monday. I'll get a top rail and uh, go to putting everything back together here. Okay. One more cut. I can uh, put my saws away and then get my angle grinder out. I'll do that next. All right. I got the bench stuff cut. It's right here. And I need a top rail and we're back to back to normal. We got a, you know, some cleaning up to do, but the big stuff is done. And uh, probably Monday, I'm gonna get my top rail, and uh, I got some stuff in the mail for my generator. We'll go have a look at that. And uh, I need three more things to connect to do my gen, complete the generator project. I need three more things: some uh, one-inch flex exhaust pipe, flex tube a double insulated water heater vent gas water heater vent uh and a 220 uh breaker for my breaker box and i gotta go pull the door off my breaker box and see what kind of breakers i have so i will get that monday my plans were to uh work in the shop until we went to town monday but uh then this happened Okay. It's here, it's here, it's here. That's the cord to go from a generator to this. And uh, this is the wire to go from this to my breaker box. We're getting there. And uh, I'll show you what I got in my shop already. There we go. Got the wire. Got the huge vent, vent fan where these, uh, when it turns on, these vents open up. Got my cord. Got my plug. <sighs> got my... Uh, box 30 amp made in china holy cow it is so freaking hot man i'm gonna go uh my wife is still picking up debris down there i'm gonna go sit with her make sure she don't fall out 
and uh, when she's done, I'm done. That tree that I cut up was covered in poison ivy. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> oh well, I've had it before. <laughs>